Here at Whitney Park in St. Cloud sits an open bit of land. It may look empty, but some are taking time to see past the snow and into the future. It's very important that we create an environment where the whole community can come together and become one and play and learn together. Last night, a small crowd of St. Cloud community members gathered in the Whitney Senior Center to brainstorm just that sort of place. So we're here tonight for our first community meeting to gain input on the design of the playground and a potential theme of the playground that we want to have here at Whitney Park. The goal? Sustain an inclusive play experience that reaches all different kinds of levels of students. Is to create a place that would make it so not only the able-bodied are able to play. And right now, regular playgrounds just aren't bridging the gap. Obviously, it's hard to tell now, but if the flooring is made from things like wood chips or sand, it can be hard for some people to reach the playground. And steps like these can make reaching the fun nearly impossible. The initial steps by these community members work to create a path towards the dreams of others. Dory Kanopic says her daughter Josie and her son Jordan don't always get the same opportunities. You know, all the rides are, you know, accessible to his little sister and then he always has to sit and watch. And now the whole family is thrilled at the possibility of an accommodating space. And how old are you? Four and a half. Four and a half. Our first playground drawing. Thank you very much, Josie. Because Harmon, he can draw. He can draw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>